Yorana! We are here today in French Polynesia on the beautiful island of Tahiti. We're so excited to tell you guys about the top three things you have to do when you're on the island. Welcome back to the channel. So, if you're new here, I'm Max. I'm Marin. And we're Voyager Guru. We post weekly videos with hotel reviews, travel tips, and experiences from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So, if you don't already, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. So let's jump right into the top three things that we recommend to do while you're on the island of Tahiti. So one of the first things that we highly recommend is going to the Marché de Papet, which is the market here in the main city of Papet. The market is located pretty close to the ferry building, so if you're going to another island like Morea, for instance, you can stop by in the morning, they open super early, and they sell everything from black pearls to hula skirts to flower crowns, I mean little trinkets and everything. Yeah, so it's a market that definitely known for its pearl and its pearl exchanges, but as Marin said, like the flower crowns, the bracelets, the local Tahitian art from sculptures to tiki's, they really have everything and it's just a fun experience to go out during the day if you're either staying in, in on Tahiti for a longer period of time or if you're just passing through and headed to another island. And Tahitians are so nice you can rest assured that you're getting a pretty good price on everything. We did negotiate a little bit but everything seemed really fair. So our second recommendation is rent a car and go drive around to some of the local beaches, which every beach in the area is public. So you are able to access the beaches and there are some beautiful beaches that are like black sand and things that are really unique. In particular, one of the ones we'd recommend checking out is the one at the Tahiti Pearl Resort. Yes. You can go onto that black sand beach and it's just gorgeous. I would recommend going for an afternoon cocktail during happy hour and then swimming in the ocean. It's just an incredible experience to see that black sand. And it's surprising too, because you'd think that the sand would be coarse and rough, but it's actually really fine yeah. black sand, um, to the point where it gets stuck in everything. Your uh, hair. Your hair, and, and, and you'll basically have it for two or three days uh, carrying that sand with you, but it's 100% worth it. Another thing to note about renting the car when you do it is that it is transportation here is not cheap. Driving around in a taxi, calling taxis can be very expensive, so renting a car is actually probably one of the more reasonable ways to do it if you expect to get in a car probably at least twice a day. Our third recommendation is to go check out the interior of the island. The inlet is incredible. There are these giant towering mountains of just pure jungle, and there's really nothing dangerous in them besides a few mosquitoes. So you can do that a couple ways. You can take a tour, or there are some hikes that you can probably do guided yourself. We went up the Fatua Valley, which actually ended up being a pretty challenging hike. <laughs> Uh, we did get lost a couple times, but we managed to find our path and we got to this beautiful waterfall We did it super early in the morning before the Sun was really out So, you know, we, we got up around 430 got out into the valley and before it got nice and hot It was just amazing to go up there and there was nobody there So we yeah. had an amazing experience and the waterfall that. is just stunning and no one was there like Max said There's several of these waterfalls. This one happens to be about 10 minutes from the main center of Papiete So it's really easy to access if you're staying in the area for a couple of nights there's also some incredible tours you can do that are full day tours that can take you to some amazing places on Tahiti. Which brings us to some runner-ups. And not necessarily because they're runner-ups, but because we didn't have the opportunity to do them this time, either because we didn't want to spend the money or really frankly we just didn't have the time. <laughs> so the top three things in those categories are they have some amazing canyoning trips that they do. Uh, if you've gone canyoning before, you get really wet. Sometimes you rappel, you slide down things. So they have these lava tubes that go through the interior part of the island in Tahiti. You can go find waterfalls. It looked like a really amazing experience. It's something that next time we're here, we'll definitely do. The other thing is we saw some people paragliding it off the top of the mountain. awesome. Yeah, talk about paragliding with a view. You just <laughs> come down, you have Morea in the distance. Uh, which you can see from the island of Tahiti and the blue water, you're over the lagoon. It, it really looked quite spectacular. And one thing we didn't get to do either was Te Awapu because we were out of season. It's a big surfing wave that happens in the south of the island of Tahiti. They run tours there, you take a boat out and you get to watch the surfers on these massive waves. Sadly, we didn't get to do it this time. We're definitely gonna check it out next time. It looks epic. So those are the things that we recommend while you're in Tahiti. For sure, check out some of the other videos that we've produced while we're here. Uh, we had a couple hotel reviews and we also went to the other neighboring island of Morea. So you can go check out those videos below or by clicking the highlights up in the top left hand corner here. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up <laughs> and be sure to subscribe. You can also check out our blog at VoyagerGuru.com and our Instagram at VoyagerGuru. And as always, I'm Marin. I'm Max. And we're VoyagerGuru. See you out there. Nana.